hello welcome to this video in this video i will show how to save the data in excel access and sql database by using vba macros before executing the program let us check about prerequisites here i created a folder on my desktop in that folder i created one excel file and access database now I am opening Excel workbook. This worksheet consists of seven headers, student name, role number, class, and subjects, science, social, math, GK. Next I am opening access database. In that database, I created a table. Double click on table. Right click. Click on design view. Here we can define the column headers and data types. This table consists of 8 headers. First one is serial number. It is auto generated number. And student name, role number, class, science, social, mass, GK. Now I am closing the access database. Next I open SQL Server. Here I created a database which is named as Excel Access and SQL. After that I am using use command. After defining the database in SQL Server, next I am creating table through VBA macros. Here we can find the code. In connection string, we need to provide the database name. Here I mention the database name. This is the sub processor to create a table. Press F8 to start the debugging. First I am establishing the connection. Define a variable which is named as connection string. Data type is string. After that I am defining the connection string. Provider is equal to SQL OLEDB. Data source is my server name. Here we can find server name, right click, click on connect, this is the server name, after that initial catalog denotes about the database name and integrated security denotes whether it is Windows authentication or server authentication. As I am using Windows authentication, I mentioned integrated security is equal to SSPA. Next, I am opening the connection. After that, here I am using execute method of connection object. This is my syntax create table. Table name is marks, and these are the headers student name, data type is varchar, length is 15, roll number, data type is integer, class, data type is integer. From here, I mention the subjects science, social, mass, GK, and data type is integer for these four subjects. Press F8. Now message box displayed on screen which denotes about creation of table. Next I am closing the connection. Let us check once. Now I am opening SQL Server.
here we can find table created at back end we can find the structure here student role number class science social mass gk before executing the process i created the structure for access database excel workbook and sql database and my next step is by using vba macros i am inserting the data into respective databases click on excel access sql command button now user form displayed on screen first time updating the fields student name is apple roll number is 1 class is third so i am entering some numeric 45 55 65 and 75 click on excel access sql command button here message box displayed to provide the confirmation as data inserted in sql table next dialog box displayed on screen through this dialog box i am selecting access database which is already created on my desktop so here i selected access database click on open this is the path for the access database click on okay next i received confirmation as data inserted in access table After that I am selecting the excel workbook click on open this is the path for that excel workbook now data inserted in excel workbook also now I am opening the access database here we can find first row inserted in marks table let us cross check with the excel workbook here you can find excel workbook updated with apple's data now let us cross check with sql database i am opening sql server select star from marks press f5 one row inserted now i am updating one more record in three databases click on command button i am updating the fields here i am providing some numbers click on command button now data inserted in sql table Here I am selecting access database. Click on open. Here I received confirmation as data updated in access data table. Now select the workbook. Click on open. Now I received confirmation as data inserted into Excel workbook also. Click on okay. Now let us check the coding part. Open VBE. This is the complete code. First, I designed a user form here, which consists of seven text boxes and two command buttons. Whenever I click the command button, user form displays on screen. User form one dot show is the code. After that. double click this command button here i call the sub processor this is the sub processor this sub processor bifurcated into three parts first one is to update the data into sql database and second one is to update data in access table and last one is to update data in excel workbook place a breakpoint here 
click on command button user form displayed on screen I am updating the test boxes click on command button press F8 to start the debugging now I am updating the data into SQL database here I define the function to establish the connection this is that function first I am defined the connection string this connection string consists of four parts first one denotes about the provider second one is server name third one is database name and last one is applicable to to provide confirmation whether user using windows authentication or server authentication in case of server authentication we need to provide login name and password after that I am opening the connection by using connection string after defining the connection I am storing the test box values into variables here I define variable s name roll number class science social mass gk press f8 now values are stored into variables we can find here after that I am using execute method of connection object here my syntax is insert into marks marks is the table name and values and for values I am using that variables previously which I mentioned at then I am closing the connection here I am using close method of connection object now received confirmation click on ok now I am inserting the values into access database first I define a variable which is named as file name and data type is string in that variable I am storing path of file name so here I am using get open file name method of application object from the generated dialog box I am selecting the access database click on open make it comment next I am defining the connection string first I define the provider after that I mentioned data source as file name file name denotes about the path of access database here we can find next I am opening the connection after that I define the record set next I am activating the connection lock type enables the user to unlock the table and update the records here I mentioned table name is marks so I am opening marks table to add the new row I am using add new method of record set fields denotes about the column headers for the field of student name I am using text box 1 value of user form 1 for roll number I am using text box 2 value for class I am using text box 3 value science text box 4 value social mass gk I use it respect to text box values at the end I am using update method of record set to update the table after that I am closing the record set subsequently closing the connection nullifying the variables of record set and connection providing the confirmation through message box till now I updated the data in SQL database and access database now I am updating in Excel workbook select the Excel workbook here I define the variable which is named as file name in that file name I am storing the path of Excel workbook by using get open file name method of application object make it comment here I am opening the workbook 
by using open method of workbooks object file name consists of path of excel workbook next i define variable which is named as wkb for that variable i am considered active workbook next i define one more variable sh to define the sheet when of active workbook after that i am defining the last row to define the last row i am using ndxlup.row property subsequently i am adding plus 1 to find the blank row now last row is 5 so i am entering the data in a5 in a5 i am entering test box 1 value in b5 i am entering test box 2 value like that i am entering the values into respective cells after that i am unloading the user form press f8 next i am saving the workbook after that i am closing the workbook this is the confirmation as data inserted in excel workbook click on okay now i am updating one more record click on command button roll number is 15 and class is second 11 18 18 27 click on command button now data updated in sql table select the access table now access data is updated select the workbook now data updated in excel workbook also let us cross check through sql server here we can find the record of papaya open excel workbook here record updated open access table here you can find the record of papaya likewise we can insert the data into excel access and sql databases you can download this template from my website Hope this video is useful to everyone. Thanks for watching.